Today I'm going to show you how to play Orthodox Caveman by Sun, and we're starting right now. Today's lesson, we're using a first act custom shop DC-6. This guitar actually belonged to Pete Adams when he was in Baroness. I was fortunate to get my hands on it a little while back. I don't think I've used it on the channel, but it is a really badass guitar, and so I'm excited for you guys to hear what it sounds like. It is in drop A tuning, and I've got a set of 13 to 68 string joy strings on this thing. And so today I pulled down the Gen 1 Model T, and we're gonna be using that for our amplification. And now in terms of pedals today, we're gonna kind of construct a pseudo life pedal in order to get that sun style drone metal tone. First up, we've got the Does It Doom Hyper Coven Dirty Analog Octave Up. This is like that input section on the life pedal where you've got a blendable dirty analog octave based on the green ringer design. Next up, we've got the trusty Proco Rat Distortion. This is the OP07 reissue model. I've got the settings set as you see here. And then next up, we've got the Does It Doom Doomcaster MOSFET Boost. Very similar to the output section of a life pedal. It's going to add a little bit of clarity, punch, and a good bit of sustain as we leave the pedal chain and enter the amplifier. And so if you like what you hear, both of these pedals are in stock right now at doesitdoom.com. We just restocked the Hyper Coven yesterday for the first time in three months. It's been sold out for quite a while. And the Doomcaster, we are down to maybe the last... I don't know, quarter of the batch. So head on over, check these things out, uh, doesitdoom.com forward slash shop. I'll have a link to each of them directly below this video. And so with that, you can get your shit tuned down to drop A. We're gonna start out with a little demo and then we'll come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it.
right, so once again, we are in drop A tuning here. This one is in the key of A minor. This first riff is kind of repeated throughout the song, at least the main themes at different tempos and different parts, but essentially it goes like this. Really cool here, you've got obviously this open A kind of going. And then you've got this major seventh and flat second intervals, which are both a half step away from that root here on your fifth string, fifth fret, which makes it sound really unresolved and really doomy. second half of the riff also using some really cool doomy intervals you've got a major third sliding up to a flat fifth and then landing on a minor third so just kind of a really uh in a pre-established minor context sounds really doomy because you're using that major third and that flat fifth and then kind of resolving over here on a minor third so Then the next riff here, also really cool, using some really doomy intervals, goes like this. So then again, just really doomy intervals here. You got this minor second down to the root, that really doomy half step. Then you've got this major third down to the minor third, and as we talked about, also just a dissonant thing to do. And finally, a perfect fifth down to a flat fifth, which obviously is that blue note, also very dissonant. So the first half there. chromatics going on here.
liked what you heard in this lesson and you want to experiment with your own pseudo life pedal style circuit, you can head on over to doesittune.com and get your hands on the Hyper Coven and Doomcaster. Just throw your favorite fuzz or distortion in between them and see what kind of awesome drone doom tones you can create. So I'll have a link directly below this video. You can go check them out. And finally, I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And of course, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.